John. I am a senior SEO content and marketing executive at Click Consult. And today I'm just going to give you a little overview on the requirement to move from Magento 1 to Magento 2. And Magento as a platform was developed as an e commerce as a service offering by Varian Inc. back in 2007 uh, by a host of uh, open source PHP programs. Uh, they essentially released this as a beta version uh, in the same year, August, and the following year, March 31st, released it to the general population. As things stood in 2018, uh, approximately 1.9% of the internet in its totality was using Magento, though this rose to 12% approximately when e-commerce sites were considered low. The second most popular platform after Shopify, Magento handles approximately $155 billion in transactions yearly. So it's no surprise really that Adobe bought the platform for approximately $1.7 billion in uh, 2018. Magento 2 was released in 2015. However, websites have been functioning perfectly well with Magento 1 in the interim. It does leave some security concerns and other issues, however, as Magento announced that they will be fully withdrawing support for Magento 1 in June of 2020. While Magento's open source nature has meant that there have been a, a wealth of possibilities and plugins for users, the marketplace was never particularly well regulated for plugins, and as such, the removal of support for security patches and similar has left a lot of ongoing questions for Magento 1 users. While Magento 2 remains open source with a lot of its development taking place on forums and GitHub, there are now far better regulations with regards to the marketplace leading to fewer security concerns overall. While your Magento 1 store is no doubt functioning perfectly well, it can be difficult to see the reason to migrate to the second version. However, not only are security concerns likely to rise with the removal of the security patch updates, there are also other reasons to migrate, including in no particular order. Speed. For anyone keeping track of the search community, it will be impossible to have missed the fact that speed is becoming an increasingly important ranking signal. What may have slipped your attention, however, is that uh, not only is speed increasing in importance, Magento 2 users and therefore your competition will currently be experiencing a 20% boost in speed, therefore increasing their ability to rank and outcompete you in the market. Mobile friendliness. In the same regard, your mobile experience is now the primary experience for your user, according to Google and therefore it is your mobile site on which you'll be judged for search purposes. While it's possible to build a responsive site in Magento 1, Magento 2 incorporates the mobile experience at its core, meaning that progressive web apps are now available in addition to it being faster for the mobile experience and according to the company better than ever. Checkout process. While your Magento 1 checkout process was six steps, something which may well have been acceptable a decade ago when e-commerce stores took a kind of perverse pleasure in extending the buying process, the modern consumer expects something a little bit quicker. And Magento 2 is more in keeping with the Amazon style of purchase, with a two-step verification model and also a one-click purchase available. Future-proofing. While the lack of support going forward for Magento 1 essentially means the depth of progress on the platform, Magento 2 has the army of open source programmers still at its disposal. That combined with the backing of Adobe and the ability to predict at least part of coming trends in e-commerce and web in general mean that uh, Magento 2 as an e-commerce CMS is far better able to adapt to at least the near future. Essentially, your Magento 2 migration represents a similar endeavor, both in terms of effort and necessity, to your no doubt recent move to HTTPS. 
meaning that it is dependent as much on implementation and preparation as it is to the platform itself. You will need time to create a roadmap and also need to accept that time is a secondary concern to the proper implementation of a migration to the new CMS. You'll need to ensure that you're covering all of the bases. You can't expect to receive the full benefit from half of the work. You'll need to make sure that your SEO is correctly implemented, that your sitemap is dynamic and that the correct sitemap is uploaded to Google Search Console. Essentially in this regard, as in so many others, the old axiom, if a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well, is certainly one to abide by. Thank you very much for listening.